What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. We got a problem on our hands, like a huge one. One that I didn't even realize was as massive as it is, but it's absolutely massive. Let me sit down for this one. Let me absolutely sit down for this one. We got a huge problem on our hands. You know what the problem is? Simps. But that's not the worst of it, right? Because I know that that's like a normal word. We're familiar with them. We know how it is that they operate, but it's some super simps out here. And let me tell you what it is that they rocking with. What's going on, ladies? You want to hey. be in? Hey, how y'all doing? It's Pretty Pockets out here in Detroit. I don't know who this is, but he look like he important. And whatever he's saying, you need to listen. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> See you, ladies. Um, we got some super simps out here, right? And here's the dilemma. Here's what it is that we facing. They the OGs. That's it. They the OGs. Shout out to Pretty Pockets. I'm just in Detroit chilling. If you look at the scenery around me, I'm slow motion. Everything is good. They the ones that we thought and we really champion. And they appear here and there. And they jump on the panels. And they choose to have conversations with us. And they participate and they give their opinions. And we consider it, you know why? You know why we consider it? Because they older, that's the only reason. And so our parents taught us to respect our elders, but they didn't tell us to consider the source and to do our research. And if you do your research, you'll realize that they're the ones that's, <laughs> they've committed the most egregious acts the most egregious acts. Let me let me break it down for you. So lately this week, the topic of conversation has been around Jess Hilarious, right? And Jess Hilarious has essentially issued a petition or a plea for people to start supporting natural women, women that were born biologically women, because they believe that every single highlight and movement is hijacked by people that are not biologically born women. Trans, specifically. Alphabet community. Now, I went on a little bit of a rant, right? And as normal, you know, I always give my perspective and my opinion. And even though men are largely unaffected by it because we're the ones that's benefiting and winning as a result of everything that's going on. However, you know, we got to bring them to the front of the congregation. So I'm just like, yo, women, y'all the ones that did this, y'all advocated for it, y'all was best friends with them. You voted a certain type of way, all of that, right? The whole nine yards. And for the first time since I've been on the internet, the first time since I've been on the internet, I got zero pushback from women. As a matter of fact, not only did I get zero pushback, but every single woman that I talked to, and it was a lot, it was all week on multiple different platforms, not just YouTube. Every single woman that I talked to, you know what they did? They agreed. They admitted it, they apologized, and they brought themselves to the front of the congregation. I was blown away. I said, the first day on Monday, I said, this can't be real. So then on Tuesday, I said, shit. Wednesday, I said, wait a minute, we might have some movement. Thursday, I said, oh man, this is absolutely a thing. Today, I'm convinced that women have suffered so much at the hands of the people that they advocated for that now, now some of them are starting to bring themselves to the front of the congregation. Now that does not mean that they're not supposed to suffer. It don't mean that they don't have to be, you all right, big dog? You sure? You need help? Okay. Fell on his bike over there. Oh, did you? Okay, I'll see you though. Your bike cool? Yeah. Your bike all right? Right. All right. No problem, big dog. Got to check on my family. But you know the ones that was coming to the rescue? The older simps. And you know what they were saying? The same thing, that same bullshit that they've been saying since the beginning of time. Happy wife, happy life. No, 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 ladies. Even when the women were trying to bring themselves to the front of the congregation, they were trying to absolve them. When the women said, no, 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 no. It's really, this one is ours. 
we have nothing to be able to argue with, argue with you about. You know what they said? No, let me put my cape on and come and save you. And I realized, I realized that we haven't really held these OGs accountable. We really haven't. We really haven't held these, these, these dudes accountable because they out here committing crimes against humanity. They are, they, they enable in bad behavior. They trying to absolve women of even coming to the front of the congregation so that we can then fix our communities. But you know what? They're the ones that broke the communities in the first place. Yeah, they were the ones that had the biggest leg up in history. The biggest leg up in history. Meaning that they didn't even really face any real racism or repercussions. They stood tall on the ones that came before them right the boomers the generation x's they stood tall on the people that came before them that actually really had to go through some shit they ran in the victim olympics they had the ball and they dribbled it out of bounds every single time they sold crack to our communities they gave their paychecks to their women yeah they fucked up they got fired they they ruin our they ruin listen i can go down a list i can go down a list but the one thing that i know for sure and two things is for certain is that y'all gotta stop listening to these dudes and y'all really really have to consider the source now i'm not saying that it's all the older people or all the ogs right but what i am saying is that we have to really really be careful on who we listen to because the older people are chameleons more than the younger people they think that just because we didn't have any internet back then that we don't know what the fuck is going on that we don't know that y'all know that your son ain't ain't his yeah we y'all think that we don't know just because social media and technology wasn't around back then that all of the people that's getting out of jail today based off of lies that was told and yesteryear now that we got dna testing is these ogs it's the old hoes and the old dudes that think that we supposed to pay attention to them they fumbled they fucked up and they the ones that's the real culprits that also need to be brought to the front of the congregation they're the ones that brought this along and, this, and I'm not just talking about the black people. I'm talking about the white people too. Failed us. Failed us in every way, shape, and form. And now we got to listen to us. We got to listen to them telling their war stories and acting like it's something that they did that was absolutely awesome when in reality, all they doing is continuing to poison a well. I'm sick of it. Absolutely sick of it. Yep. And they people in your family and people that you rock with, and the people in your hood, and your friends, and the people that you call mentors. Now, I'm not talking about the ones that successful. I'm not talking about the ones that set the foundation. I'm not talking about the ones that was actually good for the community. I'm talking about the other overwhelming majority of the 95, 96, 97% of these motherfuckers that was out here fucking up shit, and now they think that just because they survived it, and we don't have no evidence and proof of what it is that they did that was absolutely egregious, that we supposed to listen to them? I say no. I say no. No. I say no. No, not today, Freaky Jason. Yeah. You bitch asses is going to keep on jumping up and trying to absolve people when we trying to solve for problems and get to the middle and the thick of things in our community. Fuck out of our way, man. We gonna run this up, we gonna run the numbers up, we gonna run the checks up. It's plenty of dudes that said that I'm gonna be in my son's life and I'm gonna be a great father because my father wasn't there for me. I know a lot of them. Oh, but this ain't the end of this rant. We gonna have a whole conversation. Hey, let me know what y'all think. Make sure y'all tap into the Patreon link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of that, top of the chat. Then also on top of that, uh, you gotta understand that they teach Hanley is available 20, 10% off your first order plus a free gift. It's amazing. It's an amazing deal. Listen, we're bringing them to the front of the congregation. We're not letting them absolve themselves of the bullshit that they did. And we're going to have a real conversation about what the fuck is going on out here in these streets. I'll see y'all on Fight Club tonight. I'm out.